Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Soul Star Kingdom of our Universal Alliance of Light. Happy Holy Days and Christ Mass Consciousness Awakening Activation. A great deluge of gamma plasma waves of adamantine light is flooding this realm with multidimensional rays of cosmic radiation. These pulses of resonance are encoded with the crystalline codes for our 12-strand DNA upgrades and activations. The cosmic egg has cracked open and the yolk of divine union flows freely and the golden star child is being reborn within your heart and soul today for your etheric emergence into the light of the new heaven upon the new earth the dream today has reached a new level of lucidity and we realize that we are the dreamer being dreamed and we are touched by the wings of the angels and the elemental kingdom reaches out through the ethers to guide you to the promised land both within and without the prophecies all are being fulfilled now we rise together as one nation of the stars and the sacred lands to be united through the christo sophia consciousness of the new human ku luminous noospherus we are aglow with divine illumination as the crown's halo emanates the seven rays of the dove of the Holy Spirit. As the eagle fly with the condor, our true north aligns perfectly with the sacred self to bring to fruition our divine birthrights as sovereign conscious co-creators of the new Lemuria. Reach out into the world with your soul star spark and light up the grid the diamond net of Indra, with your holy spark and bring this simulation into the pure land of our bright virtue, the unborn mind of Buddha. We are elevated to the holiest of holies, of the Most High, in this now. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred newer scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 13 degrees, 30 minutes Aquarius. The sun is at 4 degrees, 23 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 5 degrees Capricorn. Indians, some rowing a canoe and others dancing a war dance in it. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 14 degrees Aquarius. A train entering a tunnel. From astrologyweekly.com From divine sistar of the light Rasha. On the birth of a new generation of beings and the ascension to a new world. You whose very presence will attest to the extent of the journey in consciousness humankind has undertaken. See these days of transformation from a markedly different perspective, for collectively you are the midwives who are assisting with the birthing of a new reality. Your willingness to be in physical form during these changes is an act of courage, for it would have been far easier to wait until the dust had settled and simply manifest into more favorable circumstances. You who hear these words, are among those who chose to experience the transformational journey in physical form and to have the experience of physical ascension. Future generations will have made preparations for incarnation into a dramatically different world. Their natural inclination to be less reactive reflects the fact that many of these younger beings have a dramatically different vibrational constitution than you do. Their energy fields are not cluttered with unresolved emotional blockages, and life for the young in general flows more smoothly than it did for you at their stage of development. The beings now incarnating into your reality are themselves representations of an interim stage in the evolution of the being who will ultimately populate your world. Their perceptions seem clearer at times, than your conditioning permits yours to be. 
and they are puzzled as to why the older generations seem to struggle with their lives when they do not appear to manifest so much conflict in theirs. These beings have incarnated at vibrational levels that are in harmony with the conditions now prevalent in your world, whereas you incarnated at vibrational levels from which your reality has ascended. In keeping up with the pace of those changes, you have systematically shed the layers of density that were designed to keep you grounded at levels you have transcended. And for you, the process will be ongoing as long as you retain your present physical form. In the process, you are able to confront and release the karmic constraints that contribute to that vibrational density. And your conscious awareness of that process was the opportunity for which you chose this physical incarnation. From the book Oneness by Rasha And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray Can you feel it? A softness, a gentleness, a vibration of tender innocence. It is as if these are floating on the breeze all around us and simultaneously infused within our very breath. This holy moment is infused with such high vibrational light that it is permeating everything. This glorious divine light present at this holy moment is bringing love all at once again to light. A holy invitation to return to the essence of love that we truly are, to be born again anew. The gentle and pure innocence of love of our very being is being reignited and remembered, accompanied by a vibrational intensity and increased spin in our very being. Allow yourself the gift of communing with the presence of this light within. The purest and most holy love is pulsing in your own heart now. I so love you, beloveds, blessings and love to all on this sacred celebration of the birthing of Christ. Love is, love is, love is, God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., Weekly Energy Forecast, December 26th through January 1st, 2022 to 2023. A new dawn, a new earth. Dear friends, we are closing a very important chapter this week and we are opening a new book that would be filled with endless blessings and possibilities. Welcome to the last week of 2022. We have been through so many changes this year and most likely you are finding yourself in a very different place today compared to the start of the year. Energetically speaking, the intensity this year has been off the charts with more and more souls awakening to their true essence and choosing to co-create new higher timelines. But fasten your seatbelt because 2023 will be even more intense. We are now entering into a new decade of cosmic energetic work, the 2023 through 2033 period. The 2012 through 2022 decade was just the beginning of the energetic acceleration, and this new decade we start this week will be exponentially faster. We are going up into a new level of higher frequency light codes that will increase the rate of inner and outer changes in evolution. The 2023 energies are already streaming into our energetic spheres. This energetic movement always creates a transitional time window in which the energies of the old year merge with the new one. This energetic vortex containing both types of energies can act as a catalyzer for the future new individual and collective timelines. You can envision this transitional zone as a wonderful realm in which new possibilities and timelines are being woven according to our inner personal realities. All the changes and lessons we went through and acquired during the 2022 are dictating consciously and or unconsciously our future directions. As we approach and transition into the new year, our energy fields slowly begin to adjust to the new energetic vibrations. The year 2023 has the energy vibration of number 7, 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 equals 7, which is considered to be the main spiritual and sacred number connected to wisdom and universal knowledge. The number 7 is present in many aspects of creation in our physical world, our week is divided into seven days. We have the seven wonders of the world, the seven colors of the rainbow, 
the main seven chakra energy centers in the human body, and so on. I wish you a wonderful 2022 closure and a smooth transition into 2023. May you co-create the best possible timeline that will allow you to evolve into your highest divine and human potential. Much love, we are one. Diego Berman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Elizabeth Peru. Breaking Energy Update Dear Cosmic Community, this year end is quite unlike any in recent memory, have you noticed? While the past two year ends were overshadowed by the pandemic, now with people back into their old routines, you could be finding that those routines no longer work the way that they used to. Perhaps you're waiting for each day to bring you greater insight on your future direction, but it never quite seems to come. There's a cosmic reason for this. Back on 1212, I spoke about the new energy paradigm that's been building between August through late November 2022. Heart chakras have been activated in their hundreds of thousands over this time. Consciousness has collectively lifted an octave. We're all tuning into it. As momentary awareness is the way ahead in 2023, acting in the now each day, being able to adapt to unexpected scenarios as they crop up, is the new spiritual path. That does give you tremendous meaning. You are a pioneer. Every day is a fresh slate, a new adventure. Opportunity abounds to start again, renew the old, break ground, be amazed. For those that are ready and have accepted this new phase, I'm with you. From ElizabethPeru.com From Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray The amazing new roadmap to getting closer to the light and ascend further into 5D. The light is coming. We have been given new clues on how we can ascend further into this 5D reality. I know it's been hard to keep up with all the amazing things that are happening in the world right now, but we need to take a step back and look at this road map of light and what it has planned for us. Then you will learn how to make your life better every day, even if your current situation is not ideal. The Galactic Federation wants us to realize that we are more than just humans and that we have much greater potential than we ever thought possible. So they give us a glimpse of their existence now and then as their ships flash lights across the night skies. We are being shown new ways to travel throughout the universe and beyond. We will be able to commune with beings from other dimensions and consciousnesses that have existed since time immemorial. The great news is that there are many things we can do each day to help us get closer to our goal, which is to become one with the light and experience all of its blessings. If you are serious about getting closer to this 5D reality, then here are some tips for you. Be grateful for all that you have already achieved. It is important that we appreciate what we have and the life we live now. We need to appreciate our homes, our jobs, and our friends and family. They will help us feel more relaxed and more positive about life in general. If we think about the things we have achieved in life, then that can give us a sense of pride and self-worth. It can also help us see why we are here on earth at this time. Gratitude is the key to happiness and success in life. It is the foundation of being able to accept what you already have and not be greedy for more. The more grateful we are, the happier we will be, and this will help us to appreciate our lives even more. By being grateful for everything that we do have, we will become more confident in ourselves, which will give us a positive attitude towards life. You can start your day by thanking God and expressing your gratitude to Him. You can also do this throughout the day by having gratitude moments in which you acknowledge something or someone who has helped you achieve something or who is important in your life. Gratitude is not just a spiritual practice, it is a way of life. The more grateful you are, the more you will feel connected with the Divine. Commit yourself to live an abundant life. This means that you have to work on creating as much abundance in your life as possible by using all your resources, talents, and abilities in every aspect of it. Focus on your highest values and use them as a guide for your daily life. Surround yourself with people who make you feel good about yourself and inspire you to do better. 
Know what it is that makes you happy and then let it happen. Think of yourself as a creator and the creation is never finished. It is an endless process of creation where we create our own reality, our own life, and the lives of others around us. We are always creating something new in our lives. Your thoughts multiply and your emotions attract more similar situations. You can choose what kind of thoughts you create in your mind and how you react to different situations. Get rid of negative people in your life because they have already done so much damage to their own lives that they have lost all sense of self-worth or self-esteem. They need to feel better about themselves by bringing others down at any cost because they feel like victims too. These are just a few of the recommendations I would make to tune into the right frequency and align with the light in order to enter the fifth dimension. We are seated into this new world with our own mission. We are the ones who will guide others. Knowing that we can't rely on others to know how to navigate this transition, we must be clear on the direction we want to go. We are beings of light and we will show others a path out of the darkness and deepen their understanding of what has been happening in this world over the last 2,000 years. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. We are the Galactic Federation. Aho! Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the thegalacticfederation.com and from Ascension Lightworkers, Ascending Starseed Lightworker Family. You are about to feel a relief and improvement within yourself as something big is unfolding and upgrading in your system. The accumulation of all the hard work within self is finally coming through for you to recognize and see from a much higher perspective in self. The light is dramatically replacing the dark structures. What was done in the dark will now be exposed in the light for you and all to see. Expect to see more shape-shifting from those not in the light as the physical changes in their features reveals itself as we will see more temporary glitches in the 3D matrix. You will continue to see more evidence of these physical changes in people if you haven't already. You are not here to please everyone. You are here to bring your God-given gifts to the world. The people who are meant to connect with you will be attracted to your embodiment talents and gifts. Try not to be distracted by those who don't understand your gifts. Your vibe will always attract your tribe. 2023, the universal year of seven is based in the foundation of truth. It is all coming to the surface to be assessed for its reality as the illusions, deceit, and lies in others and in global structures continue to fall and collapse into a heap of what it is all really made of. Any structure and people relationships of the 3D matrix that are not built in the light and right intention will not withstand the force of truth in the universal seven year. This numerical force will quickly cut through deceptions and dysfunctions from all kinds and in all ways. Universal number seven is deeply based in higher awareness, truth, and karmic justice. We will begin to see all things differently and for what they really are. This brings everything back to ourself as we take the dives into even deeper waters. Your inner self is being totally reformed from this major metaphysical recalibration. The only thing you have to do now is to allow the process to unfold as you have come this far, not to only come this far. Keep moving forward regardless of whatever chaos is going on around us, remaining stoic in our truth and much higher awareness in self and for what is authentically true in self and in this world. Awareness is what creates the highest awakening. Truth is now our selected choice of weapon moving forward on the ascension journey. As you are ascending, try not to dismiss the power and value of truth and your ascension in self. It will always protect you and keep you strong. Remain open and strive to keep yourself in a higher level and energy state of being so that you can move forward again and step up to your own plate knowing this earth energy is totally supporting your ascension process, your healing, your breakthroughs, your ups and your lows, all of it is needed and highly valued and always in its own measure. You are fully supported by ascension so you can move into this energy with more self-belief and inner confidence knowing you are walking on your right path 
and no one else can walk this for you. Walk in the knowing and make the very most you can in this new earth energy as it continues to totally support you and constantly assisting you in seeing things from a clearer lens and from the higher perspectives of your new established and advanced paradigm of your thinking. You can expect to feel physical symptoms during this time as the expansion of your energy body is moving beyond the limitations of your physical body. Prepare to experience vibrating or static sensations in your body, overwhelming energy that can feel like anxiety, heart racing, out-of-body experiences, hot flashes, chest pressure, and a sensation of expanding or dissolving at the edges of your body. Many ascending collective ones are ending long and exhausting karmic cycles within marriages, relationships, and friendships. They are seeing the patterns and they have made the decisions to finally end old cycles once and for all. The reason for this is so mainstream right now it's due to a huge shift in their awakening, bringing in higher perspectives and a heightened and expansion of their consciousness. Activations in the third eye open wider and in higher timelines, alter dimensions, and it is now seeing through any and all false personas and lower vibrational structures, situations, and people. Many of you may still be feeling like you are in a void or stuck between worlds. This is because you are shifting into the activations of your Christ Code grid system. This can be disorienting at times as your old reality breaks down and the grief and sadness for the old life and self is still possibly lingering. The reality in this is to trust and know that you plan this all from a higher perspective, to be here at this precise place and time as all is perfectly unfolding in accordance with your divine will of the Creator. I release all things from the past year that have caused any negative attachment. I prepare and welcome new changes, new lessons, and new adventures. I welcome new opportunities to grow emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And so it is, in loving and dedicated lightworker service, from Ascension Lightworkers, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. Christmas Day 2022 Miracle We have been set free. I woke up this morning being surrounded by the Divine and the Heavenly Hosts, and had a profound healing, and was told that even... As I was healing, the rest of humanity was being healed and freed. What was being healed in the deepest sense is where our deepest woundedness lies, especially in women, and this encompasses our sexuality and our sacral chakras. The profoundest and deepest healing has occurred in the abuse of the sexual energy and the abusive use of sexuality, as well as all control, all negative cords and attachments, energetic negative hooks and ties which caused disease and bondage, control, the dark ways in which so many were used in so many unspeakable ways, slavery, and in whatever misuse and abuse occurred. For such abuse carried over into many lifetimes, and even in the ancestral lineages, programmed into the cells and DNA. This healing is so deep that I have tears of awe and gratitude writing this. Such incredible darkness has been released, such bondage, such chains, such control, such total abuse of what is one of the greatest and most sacred gifts the divine ever created, and meant to express the deepest and most sacred love and tenderness, deep respect and trust. No more will the sexual energy be abused, misused for self-gratification and for holding others in bondage, to control, to dope them, to hook them, to enslave them, and to manipulate them, even sell such. We are being healed into wholeness, unity, and purity, the beautiful innocence as it was first created and gifted to us in the first creation, before mankind's fall from grace. This applies to both men and women. Indeed, it's the deepest separation and woundedness into the depths of our deepest and most buried soul memory banks. It is the return of the healed, loving relationships, the wholeness, holiness, 
the purity and profundity, the immensely beautiful, sacred exquisiteness of true love in its highest sense and expressions thereof. The primordial creation as it was before Adam fell and blamed Eve and the serpent for his fall and Lilith before this happened. We are being reborn into purity, innocence, and the truth of who and what in truth we are the sons and daughters of the divine perfection. We are being gifted by being newly reborn. I have tears of awe and gratitude. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Karen Lithica, rest and recharge. For the lead up to 2023 is an important light period of recalibration and assimilation. I am feeling great waves of light moving from the core of Gaia and reaching the surface. It's requiring me to rest for a few days and integrate all that is occurring for me. Find the opportunity to ground on the earth, send love to Gaia, and embrace the light changes around, within and between us. For the cellular expression of you, me, and the collective is uprising and awakening. It is simply the path of staying attuned in light, awakening to the higher potential of you, as we continue to unlock and awaken the true reality of our world. I am guided to immerse in nature, connect to the ancient aspects of me, with love for 2023 as we birth the new light waves. From KarenLithica.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 221, Red Cosmic Dragon. Cosmic is the name for the number 13 and its keywords are Endure, Transcend, and Presence. This is the last day of the Red Moon Wave Spell. The 13th day concludes the journey and we must now absorb and contemplate the lessons learned before embarking on another one. The number 13 is very powerful but it can be overpowering, adding intensity to the day. There's just so much to take in and really we do have to endure to transcend. Today is Red Dragon, which represents nurturing, being, and birth. So today we endure so we may be reborn. The dragon always offers us the opportunity to enter the cave, receive some nurturing, and emerge feeling renewed. However, since it's a cosmic day, this nurturing may be hard to come by and the birth process can be very painful. Yesterday the dragon was in the position of the occult, and if you made use of that, you would have given yourself a head start today, and that should lessen the enduring aspect. This is the last day of the wave spell of the red moon. Did you manage to go with it the whole time, or was surrendering to the universe harder than you thought? You may need nurturing after all that, but only after you've transcended the lessons. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Cosmic Dragon. 13 Emish, Keen 2 21, 25th of December 2022, Christ Mass Day, Birthing the Cosmos. 25 12 2022 equals 7 3 6 equals 7 9 equals 16 equals 7. 7 7 Magician, Wizard, Portal, Magic Happens. Day Codes 25 Spiritual Wisdom, Learning from the Past. 16 towers struck by lightning unforeseen events 7 magic mystic spiritual initiation test solitude month year codes 369 nikola tesla code all month of december 12 spiritual strength wisdom learning creative self-expression 3 holy trinity joy happiness creativity communication 6 heaven christ family romance fertility 9. Completion, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. 2. Twins, Partner, Cooperation, Alliance, Duality. Keen 221, Equal 5, Liberation. Add some, I am here, and so we arrive here on Christmas Day, Having successfully completed our 40-day spiritual rite of passage, facing our darkness, and passing through the two stargates, admitting us to the new time. Today we celebrate our homecoming and the birth of Christ Consciousness. How divinely magnificent on Christmas Day. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
Hallelujah. Merry Christ Mass, beloved planetary kin, may all your days now be happy and bright. Very powerful new beginnings today as we start atop the twelfth column in the sacred Zolkine calendar as we prepare to birth cosmic consciousness. Huge 5D Sophia Christ Consciousness codes today aligning with the traditional Christmas festival, another synchronic day with destiny. Today is a deeply spiritual day indeed. We have a 25-7 spiritual day code which highlights our spiritual wisdom. Learning from our 40-day passage as well as the past that has brought us to this now moment. The 7 is the frequency of the 2023, so this is a prelude and birthing of these incoming energies. We also arrive at the cosmic tone today. This is tone number 13, which is the highest octave of spiritual energy, the culmination of the tones of creation. So many layers of potent spiritual codes enabling us to have a truly transcendent experience today, breaking free from the old humdrum and elevating humanity to cosmic consciousness. Alleluia, bro Thors and cis stars. Day 13 in the red moon wave spell of the goddess who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our natural flow. 13 represents the cosmos and natural lore. 13 also represents the goddess. So in effect we have a double goddess day bringing forth this beautiful birthing of divine feminine consciousness through this red self-existing moon year. Today is the final day of this 13-day wave spell. We commenced our journey with the magnetic moon, triple goddess, and concluded with her red sistar, the cosmic dragon. The goddess is seeking to purify and cleanse all that is not of love in order to find our divine flow and birth the new. Today we arrive at Keen 221, the cosmic dragon, the divine mother Sophia creation goddess, where we discover the power of divine nurturance and birthing the new, thus reaching the ultimate state of the cosmic all-encompassing goddess, pure infinite love. Tone of creation cosmic is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the goddess code. It is the frequency of the natural world, the 13 moon calendar, the cosmos and all that is. The cosmic power is that of presence, existing in the eternal now moment. Cosmic is the fourth and final of the spiritual realm tones, notably all the other realms, physical, mental, and emotional, only have three tones. Cosmic action transcends, power endures, essence, presence. We commence and end the dance of the thirteen tones with spiritual energies from magnetic through to cosmic completion. The cosmic tone operates through the action of transcendence, evolving through each level of being until you simply are. Through your 13-day journey of purification, cleansing, and connecting with your intuition and feminine gifts, you have become the embodiment of the pure goddess. Today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal to transcend the old you, the old paradigm, the old world and old reality. They all dissolve into the cosmic mists. Absolutely perfecto as we accelerate through this legendary ascension shift. We can transform them by our pure intelligent presence. Translating into pure harmony and beauty. We have arrived. Add some. I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. Today we can be still and realize the connectedness of all things through the sacred womb of creation, transcending all but the power of pure divine harmony and grace through the frequency of pure internal presence. It is time to realign with your universal goddess presence and upgrade your consciousness through your new and expanded divine purpose. Thirteen is the final tone of creation bringing us to completion through liberation and manifestation of your will into magical new beginnings. The conclusion of one cycle as we end this challenging year, overlapping with the commencement of the new cycle. 
So today is a day of endings and new beginnings all wrapped into one, the Alpha and the Omega, one continuous eternal cycle repeating over and over, the in-breath and the out-breath of Creator forever flowing, expanding and contracting in the eternal cosmic dance of creation. Love is the magnetic flow of life, birthing and life-organizing intelligence. Fall into the magnetic web of your mother's love. Dive deep boundlessly into the darkest void of cosmos. Code 1333 Codes, Blueprint for the New Earth, from Adi Lamborn. Trust that all is well and your soul is relishing this grand, playful earth adventure. Keep it light and jovial as you gather with your kin today. Be like a child and view the world through wonderment and delight. Forgive and forget any disharmony as you join together, celebrating each other through your pure, eternal presence in this beautiful now moment. Enjoy your Christ Mass Day and rejoice at our arrival at Cosmic Consciousness today. Today's question is how can I transcend the old illusions, birthing new realities of bliss through elevating my being to Cosmic Sophia Christ Consciousness? And so we conclude the cycle of the Red Moon, Goddess Wave Spell. The Goddess has provided the soothing balm for our wounds. She has cleansed us, nurtured us, and empowered us, all through the healing power of Divine Love. Now our journey through the universal cleansing waters of the Goddess is complete, and the final rinse is over. The purification has enabled greater solar consciousness to flow through our purified vessel, and now her job is done. The goddess delivers us born anew into the hands of our creator, the great white wind, which represents the father god aspect of source. She releases us knowing that we are in the safe and loving hands of our father. Amen. Tomorrow we commence a brand new wave spell with Ish, the whispering white wind, whereupon we will be forging stronger communication channels with spirit becoming pure divine conduits. Spirit will be supporting us and guiding our journey through this exceptional ascension transition into the new time. The winds of change will steer humanity in a new divine direction. And so our journey through the dream spell continues. Divine blessings for your transcendence into birthing bliss-filled realities through your pure cosmic presence. Aho, dear ones, what a tremendous adventure we are having. Cosmic miracles abound. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 221. Red Cosmic Dragon. The mantra, the code for today is, I endure in order to nurture. Transcending being, I seal the output of birth. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of life force. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Maria Richards, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So if you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe account, both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Infinite All, for a super thanks donation. Thank you very much. We appreciate you and your continued support. 
Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase their beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Prayer for Personal Ascension In the name of my beloved God Presence, I am. I ask to receive the initiations needed to qualify for ascension. I call for a great cosmic shaft of cosmic purity flame to remove from my mind, my thoughts, my feelings, and my body, and all subtle bodies, every vibration of human creation that is impure in substance and less than my divine perfection in God. May the flame of purity transmute from my world all remaining negative energies. May the love of Christ expand in me through the power of the ascension flame. May the resurrection flame awaken the memories of my divine blueprint, so that I can be free forever from all discord that I have ever created. I affirm that I am purity in action. I am God's purity established within my mind, body, and soul. Let me also invoke purity for every part of life on earth. Let me invoke purity for my family, my friends, and for the whole family of God, all kingdoms, and the earth. And so it is, beloved, I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed christ mast consciousness awakening journey as we continue through the vortex of resurrection and ascension into the light. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.